Hello, math learners! Brace yourselves as we discuss today's lesson. Are you ready? Let's start! In this video, you are going to learn about problem solving involving sets. Solving problems involving sets requires a series of steps. Please take note of the following steps as this will serve as your guide in solving set problems. These are the steps in solving problems involving sets. Step 1. Draw a rectangle for the universal set. Label it with capital letter U. Step 2. Determine the number of sets to be drawn. Use overlapping circles to represent the sets. Do not forget the label of the sets. Step 3. Determine the intersection of the sets. Step 4. Write the remaining elements of the sets and the universal set. And the last step, answer the question based on the Venn diagram. Let's discuss problem solving involving union of sets. Example. Solve the problem. In a group of 50 students, 18 take cheer dance, 26 take chorus, and 2 take both cheer dance and chorus. How many students in the group are enrolled in either cheer dance or chorus? To solve this problem, let's follow the steps. Step 1. Draw a rectangle for the universal set. Label it with capital letter U. Step 2. Determine the number of sets to be drawn. In this problem, there are only two sets given, the cheer dance and chorus. So, we need to draw two overlapping circles only. And do not forget their labels. Step 3. Determine the intersection of the sets. These are the students who took both cheer dance and chorus. In this problem, there are only two students who took both cheer dance and chorus. So that means their intersection is 2. Step 4. Write the remaining elements of the sets and the universal set. For the set of students who took cheer dance, there are 18 students. But we already wrote two of them, so that would be 18 minus 2, which is 16. For the set of students who took chorus, there are 26 students, but we already wrote two of them, so the remaining would be 26 minus 2 is 24. For the universal set, there are all 50 students, but we already wrote 16, 2, and 24 of them, which is equal to 42, so the remaining would be 50 minus 42, which is 8. Step 5. Answer the problem based on the Venn diagram. How many students in the group are enrolled in either cheer dance or chorus? When we say either, or, this means union. Union means the combination of elements of the two sets. So that means we will combine or we will add the elements that belong to cheer dance and the elements that belong to chorus. So that would be 16 plus 2 plus 24, which is equal to 42. So the answer would be there are 42 students who are enrolled in either cheer dance or chorus. These are the keywords that you need to remember when you solve problems involving union of sets. Either or. Now, let's discuss problem solving involving intersection of sets. Unlike the other three set operations, this operation does not need Venn diagram to solve the problem. These are the steps to follow to solve problems involving intersection of sets. Step 1. Determine the number of elements in each set. Step 2. Add the elements of all sets. Step 3. Subtract the number of elements in the universal set 
from the sum of elements of all sets. Step 4. Answer the problem. Example. Solve the problem. In a group of 60 people, 42 like cold drinks and 27 like hot drinks. And each person likes at least one of the two drinks. How many like both cold and hot drinks? Step 1. Determine the number of elements in each set. In this problem, there are two given sets. The set of people who like cold drinks and the set of people who like hot drinks. For the set of people who like cold drinks, there are 42. For the set of people who like hot drinks, there are 27. Step 2. Add the elements of all sets. So we will add the number of people who like cold drinks and the number of people who like hot drinks. 42 plus 27 is equal to 69. Step 3. Subtract the number of elements in the universal set from the sum of elements of all sets. Again, the sum of elements of all sets is equal to 69. The number of elements in the universal set is equal to 60. If we are going to subtract, 69 minus 60 is equal to 9. Step 4. Answer the problem. How many like both cold and hot drinks? So that means the intersection. The answer would be, there are 9 people who like both cold and hot drinks. These are the words that you need to remember when you solve problems involving intersection of sets. Both and. Always remember, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics.